everybody. I'm Donkey Ollie. I've been on a lot of adventures and I'd love to share them with you. To help us out, I'd like you to meet my good friend, Mr. Narrator. Thanks, Ollie. The stories I'm going to tell you happened long ago, around the time of Jesus, and people still talk about them to this very day. This is Ollie's first adventure, and we'll call it Journey to Jerusalem. When Ollie was young, he lived outside the city of Jerusalem, near the town of Bethany. He grew up on a small farm owned by Farmer John and his wife, and they took very good care of him. Ollie had wonderful dreams of traveling all over the known world. Unfortunately, he lived with his brothers. One hot afternoon, all the young donkeys gathered around Aunt Alana to hear one of her wonderful stories. Tell us a story, Aunt Alana. Yeah, we want to hear about the time he gave baby Jesus a ride. All right, children, if I must. It was a night as bitter cold as only Bethlehem's winners can get. The angel appeared to Joseph to tell him to flee with Mary and the child to Egypt. None of the other donkeys would hear of taking the trip. Well, as for me, I was just a sprig of a lass. I remember when Mary turned to me and asked me if I'd carry them. I'd never been so honored in my life. It was a long, long trip with many hardships. When we finally arrived in Egypt, I felt as if I could turn around and do the whole trip again. None of my hooves were even split. Wow! Tell us some more donkey legends. In each generation, there have been donkeys that God has used for his purposes. It matters not your size or the family you're from. God has simply used those who are most available to him. The legacy goes back to the beginning of our time. There were donkeys that helped Noah with the ark. They brought in the wood from afar and helped plant the fields to grow the food for all the animals. There were many donkeys that went with the Israelites to help them escape from slavery in Egypt. Also, donkeys were responsible for bringing the building blocks used to make the great temple. What about the donkey that uh, Balaam heard speak to him? Well, that was the first time that God allowed people to understand us. I'd like to be the donkey that Jesus uses to go to Jerusalem. What's your name, young fellow? Ollie. He thinks he's so special with his white coat and all. Is your heart willing, child, to do what God wants? Yes, yes, I'm willing. But do you really think God will use me? I'm so small and I'm really different from everyone else. Yes, I know he will. Don't let your small size or your white coat keep you from seeing what God sees. Ollie, he only looks at your pure heart. But my brothers... There are always those who will pick on someone who's special.
Ollie's brothers made fun of him because Aunt Alana said he was special. Ollie escaped to the stall where he poured out his heart. Later that evening, Ollie's brothers returned to the stall. Who do you think you are, carrying on like God was going to choose you? A little runt like you, carrying the Messiah, God would certainly choose me over you any day. Ollie, I think you've really gone overboard this time. There's no way God would pick you over any of us. Well, Lana told me that God would pick anyone who had a willing heart. Now, Jesus sent his disciples in search of the donkey that was to accompany him on his journey to Jerusalem. Peter and James visited Ollie's owner, Farmer John, but came up empty-handed. Peter, the master specifically said, a very pale donkey, short in stature. I know, James, but look for yourself. There didn't appear to be one light-colored one in the bunch. Maybe the master sent us to the wrong farm. Hold on. The master make a mistake? I say, let's ask the farmer again. Perhaps there is one donkey he forgot about. Meanwhile, Ollie tried to join up with his brothers playing skip the rope near the old well. Can I play? Can I play, please? Aren't you too good for us? Yes, if after all, the Messiah's going to choose you. Come on, please, can I play? Sure, Ollie. <laughs> Let's let him play. Come on, jump in. Do you really think the Messiah's going to pick you? I'm certain of it. Well, that's too bad, because he'll have to find you first. Superstar, do you think you are the best? Let's just put him to the test. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You're too small and you won't go far. You're too different, you're too pale. Besides that, you're too frail. Who do you think you are? Please don't 
don't tie me up. It serves you right, Ollie. Oh, You're on. much too proud, little brother. Perhaps some time down the well will cure that. Um, come, come on, guys. Don't throw me down the well. No! Well, I've shown you all my best donkeys. Yet you say the Messiah would not be pleased with any of them. Yes, old man. They're all very fine animals. Indeed, the finest we've seen. Well, then surely one of these must be appropriate for your purposes. Now, John, there's one of them you haven't shown them. Ollie. Yes, father, they haven't seen Ollie. Well, I really don't think they'd be interested in Ollie. He's too small, and very strange color for a donkey. Far too pale. Far too pale? Maybe that's the one the master wants. Do you think you can round this Ollie up? Sure, if he hasn't wandered off too far, Ollie is always getting himself lost. Don't fetch him, Elizabeth. 
These men have important things to do. Donkey Alley, where have you gone to? Elizabeth skipped about looking for Ollie, and stopped by the well for a drink of cool water. <laughs> Ollie, is that you? <laughs> well, hold on to the rope and push with your legs. <laughs> Look at you! You're a sight. How did you get yourself into that predicament? Well, never mind. Hold still, you silly donkey. Let me untie you. Don't you know that Jesus wants you? So you found the young fellow. He is an unusual color. He's just as the master described him. Except, I've never seen a donkey so green. Oh, that's not his real color. I'll clean him up, and he'll be ready to go. You're going to pick him? Are you sure? We have many that are much smarter and much stronger than him. No, I'm sure he's the one. The master's chosen him. Huh? What? 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 Huh? Can you believe it? I'm twice his size. Yeah, and I'm twice as smart. And what about me? I'm twice as fast. Donkey such as I, I really don't know why. I was the biggest, strongest one. I was the wisest, smartest one. But a donkey such as I, I'd like to ask him why he chose the smallest one. Not a donkey such. As his brothers continued to complain, Ali gladly left with the apostles for Jerusalem. Ready? 
are a beautiful donkey. Ollie, I'm so glad you offered to give me a ride. Have you ever seen such a sight? Within a week after Ollie had given Jesus a ride into Jerusalem, Jesus was crucified for the sins of the world. Ollie carried the body of Jesus, followed by John and Mary. He grieved for the one who had given him so much love and understanding. He turned down all his favorite foods and began to grow weak. Elizabeth grew more and more worried about him and prayed to God to restore his will to live. Here it is, kids! What you've been waiting for! Farmer John's Corner! Thanks, Holly. Hi, boys and girls, and any animals that might be watching. My name is Farmer John, just like the Farmer John in the story you just saw. That Farmer John was my great, 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 at about 70 or 80 more greats, grandfather. He loved Donkey Ollie and was proud to have him on his farm. Now, one of, hmm, I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be great to actually draw a picture of Donkey Ollie? Now, I have my trusty pencil, Clarence, and we're all set to go. I'll see ya. <laughs> Forgot this, <laughs> stupid of me. <clears throat> okay, so, the first thing is to put this where I won't stumble over it. Because I don't want to hear any excuses about how I can't draw. I can't draw at all. Of course you can. Everybody can draw. It doesn't matter if it's good. It doesn't matter if it's bad. The point is you did it. It's done. People will love it. So let's move on. First thing is to get a pencil. I have Clarence. And to get some paper. You don't have pencil and paper? Well, I think, I think we can wait. Go get some pencil and paper. I, I can wait, I'm fine. Okay, we're ready. Well, I never said I'd wait very long. Now, I think the first thing you should do is, with the help of a parent, get online and go to donkeyolly.com. Oh, that's nice. And on there, you'll find a picture just like this. Now, to help out just now, I'm gonna take that picture and transfer it to my hand and put it right there. So you can see it the whole time. Now, the fun part, pick up your Clarence or whatever you've named your pencil and just start drawing. Looking at the Ollie, looking at the paper, we start with a circle. A circle for the head. And then another circle for the mouth, where the nose area is. Then we do a smile, and a couple of holes for where the nose is. And two circles for the eyes, and we'll put the pupils in the eyes. Then we'll have them looking off over there. Now put the standards of the eyes in. I'll give him eyebrows, I'll give him ears, big loopy ears, and I'll do a little line like that to show the center of the ears. We'll give him some hair, bring it down here and give him a neck. We'll give him sort of a general egg-shaped body, about like that. Tail off the end, kind of pointy, one leg, and down like that, foot with fur on it. Another leg, coming down like that, ooh, and another leg, what's that, one, two, three, ooh, got enough legs, yeah, no, one more leg, I'm missing a leg, he tip over, leg back there, and there's my Ollie. And now we're going to color him in. And there we go. 
that's what he looks like. Now the fun thing is, you can do this any way you want to. You don't have to follow this. You can make it up. You can make him with stripes. <laughs> like that. See with drawing, there are no rules. You can do whatever you want. This has been fun. See you next time. In our next episode, Ollie takes little Jehu into Jerusalem to see if his crippled leg can be cured. Little Jehu, jump down, the Lord has healed you. Hey, look at me! But Ollie is captured and beaten. Only a miracle can save him. That's next time on The Adventures of Donkey Ollie. Thanks for coming. See you next time. <laughs>